This is a very simple model of DNA. And uh, DNA is a double helix structure which contains two uh, phosphate backbone running antiparallel to each other. Okay, and uh, these these two um, backbones are joined together through the DNA base pairing. So imagine this is the the A, this is the T, and uh, a G and C. So they base pair to form a double helical structure. So we can use this as uh, a nanomaterial because the scale really fit perfectly in the range of uh, nano uh, scale material defined from one to one hundred nanometers. Okay, then you can use this as a building block by uh, designing uh, DNA strands that can hybridize with another piece of DNA. So this will bring multiple DNAs together into a network. So what we want to do is to uh, create a branch junction structures that can self-assemble into two-dimensional and eventually three-dimensional structure. So we need to probably, we, we need to break a nick somewhere and imagine to have another DNA helix come on the sideway and break another nick so you can bridge these two DNAs together by running a strand from one helix and go to another double helix. So you create a four-way junction and use this four-way junction as a building block you can build a variety of different nanostructures and from that you can build supermolecular chemistry uh, structures using DNA. Yeah. We always dreamed about uh, scaling up the DNA nanotechnology. One way to scale that up is to use um, a cellular system because uh, DNA can be, you know, simple DNA can be replicated inside of the cell, right, through uh, DNA polymerases and other uh, molecular machines, okay. So the idea here is can we challenge the natural system a little bit, a little bit and use that to uh, replicate a DNA, a complicated DNA nanostructure inside of the cell and maybe that's a venue to scale up the DNA uh, nanoconstruction. Right? So imagine that you can just uh, ship in a piece of uh, uh, vector containing this uh, complicated secondary structure and use the cell to keep replicating and produce enough amount of uh, DNA nanostructure for us. This is the first example of using cell system to replicate a single-stranded DNA nanostructure which contains a, a very complex secondary structure. And also the key thing here is that we also proved the existence of the DNA nanostructure inside, during the replication, during the cell amplification, and we found that this DNA nanostructure does exist Okay, I think that's the per first proof that uh, when DNA get uh, nanostructure get replicated, it does exist and can survive the complicated uh, cellular machine system.